Hello guys, this is Sandeep Nepal from Javadesk and today I'd like to welcome you to our first tutorial on OOPS which we have already discussed there are four main features of OOPS and one of them is encapsulation and rest of the other features are inheritance, polymorphism and abstraction. So guys, uh, today we are going to discuss about the encapsulation. So the uh, I have already defined um, you what oops is and how the oops uh, how walk, uh, oops works or uh, helps in our software development and main, maintaining the code so for today we will be discussing about encapsulation and guys i i, I also told you that um, before the encapsulation i actually wanted to uh, make this video much earlier but but before that i need, needed uh, it needed to make you understand about the access specifier in java so before that i made you um, i wanted to make a video on access specifier and while making notes on access specifier i noticed that before that uh, it required to make video or uh, tutorial on packages in java so i have covered the packages in java and now access specifier in java in previous tutorial so we are all set to discuss on encapsulation in java so guys if you haven't gone through the previous tutorial please go uh, in a series otherwise you won't understand or you won't uh, you won't um, i think i i mean you you'll feel a little bit um, tough uh, problem to um, to get this concept so guys if you haven't watched our, our previous tutorials please go through them and then you and then you have to start our concept of oops because i am going in a series and i hope that you should also go in a series so that you can easily understand what i mean to uh, say you are what i mean to convey the message so talking about the encapsulation what encapsulation is uh, we do not have any uh, uh, diagram for encapsulation for today so today we will directly go to the concepts so uh, i told you that there are four con uh, concepts or features of oops one of them is encapsulation so encapsulation in java is a mechanism of wrapping the data variables or data members and the code acting on the data that is methods so what encapsulation does is it takes the data or data members or variables and the methods that is behavior and and then binds them into a single unit wraps them into a single unit so this this feature of oops is known as encapsulation so in encapsulation the variables of the class will be hidden from from other classes so this is the main agenda so this is the main agenda of the encapsulation so that we should hide our data variables or data members from other classes so that other classes would not directly um, be able to able to use our data members and can be accessed only through the methods of their current class what i mean to say that we hide or we code our uh, our um, class in such a way that the data member is not directly accessible by other classes unless we call them or we use them through methods of the current class in which we are uh, we are defining the data members or methods so this is known as data binding so this feature is also known as data binding or data hiding so encapsulation is known as wrapping of data binding of data as well as hiding of data so now how to achieve encapsulation in java so the first thing you need to do is declare all the variables or data members of the class as private if you make make it public it will be easily accessible as we have discussed in previous tutorial to all the classes it, it, we can access it anywhere if we use public but now to achieve encapsulation we need to make our data members private so that no classes can directly access it in case they want to access it we will give them public setter methods and getter methods setter methods to modify and getter methods just to get the uh, just to get the uh, values that is data members so I'll explain you in the uh, code. I'll code and then show you 
how to declare public sector method and public data method and private data very data members uh, for now let's just understand the advantages of encapsulation so an advantage of encapsulation is it improves the maintainability of the code and reusability of the code it also makes our code flexible so the other advantage of encapsulation is the fields can be made read only actually how will we can make it read only if we don't define setter method if we don't define setter method setter met method actually gives permission or gives uh, permission of other classes other to other classes to actually set or update i mean uh, i mean uh, you can change the value by setting but if we do not give any setter method and we if we only give getter method then we can make it read only by getting by getter method we can the other classes can just read the those data members or we can also make our fields write only write only means by setting a new value or updating a new value if we don't define any getter method if we don't define any getter method and only define a setter method then we can only write the code not get the code so this we will do by the programming and one more thing user would not be knowing what is going on behind the scene they would only be knowing that to update a field uh, field call set um, field by calling set setter method and to read a field by calling getter method what i mean to say that we can either uh, we can either make our field uh, we can either make our field um, read only or write only the same thing is explained here if we do not give any setter method and we if we only give getter method then the variable will be read only since we are only giving the getter method we can make it write only if we do not define any getter method and if we define only setter method if we give setter method the, the other classes can write but do not get it so now let us go to our program let's open a notepad so this is our notepad and let's make a class here and let's keep it like a bank customer okay and first of all i'll define our main method okay And now let's define our data variables. I mean data members. Like if you keep public string name Sandeep. Okay. Okay. And public and just suppose my pin number okay let's write first long account number and account number may be like 4099235 anything just write your account, uh, account number and after that public int pin that is a, that is your personal identification number and four digit pin number may be 7065 okay so these are the details of a bank customer just suppose you have defined and let's leave it uh, for now i'm just i'm not explaining you in the encapsulation i am explaining you what would it uh, how would it look how would it look if we do not use encapsulation and suppose we have another uh, class called test which actually uses our bank customer class and now let's define public static void main actually bank customer i mean encapsulation is used in java to define a bean 
when you go through a huge project i mean uh, not a huge project in any project it is better to define a beam for entity uh, you learn this when you uh, you walk, walk with spring hibernate and in such cases you need beams to be defined for entities in hibernate for now you just understand there is a customer class and we are declaring all the data members public and now if i want to access it in some other class i have to make object of okay so new bank c u s t customer so i have created the object and now i would like to access them so as it is public as it is public so we can easily get them na b dot p i n okay b dot p, p i n this is what we are accessing and if i want if this class want to wants to print our pin number easily it can print it and now we will save our program and create a program there is a encapsulation folder and i'll create it by <coughs> test dot java because our main method is in test so it would be easy for us to run the program and now we'll go to the specified location we'll go to the desktop we'll go to the java desk programs encapsulation okay and now we are all set to run our program see so the integer to large for actually in the range of the range of long actually exceeded so just i mean So take it a short one. Okay. Now we'll just run it. So we have successfully compiled our program, and if we run it, we'll get a value that is pin seven zero six one. So guys, what I want to make you understand that. without encapsulation we have we haven't used any encapsulation here so the problem is that your data which you want to keep which you want to keep uh, which you want to keep as um, private is being revealed without your permission because this is public your account number your everything your name your pin everything or they can change it even they can change it your uh, change your pin number i will show you how b dot p i n equals to 12345 okay and now again i want i want to print it see your pin was 7065 and now it has been changed to 12345 so guys i what i wanted to tell that there are so many problems related to security or so many things that uh, somebody other class some other classes can change the change your data member without your permission without your permission so these actually are some problems without encapsulation but uh, if we want to if we want to secure our data if we want to bind our data with our methods so this problem won't occur i mean they won't be able to change your uh, change your data without your permission for that we need to 
uh, implement encapsulation and the first rule to implement encapsulation is to make all your data members as private so no one can use them if you make it private other class will not be able to directly use it as we have learned in access specifier that private is not accessible suppose that uh, we run this code okay we will get an error because private is not accessible outside the class so so now uh, suppose that we have we have some of our data and we want to now we need to declare getter and setter for all those data members so the best way is to define getter and setter individually and make the methods that is getter and setter public methods should be public so that anyone can call those methods and access your data they can and they can never use your data directly uh, so the first thing for uh, a string name okay uh, public void this is the set method so that someone can set your name set name and for setting your name you will require a string that is name so name okay okay yeah or we can even put the same word for that you need to use this keyword which i haven't discussed but after this we will be discussing the uh, this keyword and i'll explain it later on only so let's make it different and now we will assign the value coming from user to oh, oh. actually we don't need to initialize it here actually we want it to be this values to be given by our customer at runtime okay okay or let's do like this let's leave it like this there are several ways of doing not only the same one suppose you have already provided um, this data and you you want other classes not to set this i mean not to write this i we already learned uh, to make our data read only or write only so we have already written the data and we want other classes not to we want the bank the bank to uh, read only this data so because we have already written it so for reading we will provide the getter method and getter method should actually return something get name so the return type would be according to the data we are returning so uh, name is our so our name is actually a string so we will return a string type of data and if we are returning any data we need to return in our statement also in our method also so return name okay now public uh, long get account so now we are providing account number so we need to return the long type our uh, our account number which is uh, which data type is long type so we need to return long type data and here we need acc to account number so this is good and now if you if you want to uh, make your pin number accessible i mean to say uh, read only you can provide otherwise it's not necessary to provide your pin number to someone so if you want for bank can have your pin number so you can make them accessible public int get pin okay 
and since it is returning integer pin so you return this things. so now this is a class test which is your bank and you have created you have created uh, the object of bank customer and now you cannot change i already told you that you cannot change those values because they those data members are now declared as private i already showed you in, in, by compiling previously and we got compile time error so now if you want to get because all of the methods uh, all of the get getter methods are defined public if you want to get get this data you can get them by calling those methods we have already created the object and now we will call those methods like get name okay and we we uh, it is returning us we can directly print it here or we can hold in a variable we can directly print it in system dot out print ln or we can even uh, i'm printing the name uh, i'm printing the get name directly or i am storing the account number okay let's just since the account number is returning us a long type variable we can only hold it in long or a larger data uh, data member uh, data type a larger data type so we will hold in a long type only long account number equals to b dot get account okay and now we can print this account number which we have declared which we have defined declared here initialize here i mean ca by calling those, those method they will return uh account number long type account uh, long type account number which we will be holding in another variable another variable long account number and now i'll print this here so we will get the now we will compile the program again see okay we did not remove the last code we want yeah we have already cleared i did not save it okay now we can compile the program see we did not get any error and now we'll run it see we got the output sandeep and so this is how we can make our data read only since we can since the class test cannot change or set the value cannot write the value cannot write the value for our data members it can only get the value and for that get only by i mean for making get uh, only uh, uh, get only value of our data members we have created getter methods these are the getter methods and those getter methods are public so they can actually access our getter methods because they are public they cannot access our data members directly because they have been declared as private so this was um, to make how how we can make our methods Uh, get only now we will make uh, uh, now i will define the getter and setter as well which they will provide the value and they will get it too suppose so this was the getter method and for now we will define the setter as well public void since we are setting the method we do not need to return anything so the return type is actually void here set name we are setting name and for setting name we need a name which will be passed while calling the method so nm and now let's set the this name which is coming from 
method to this and how we can set it we can set it by assigning the value that has come from user to the variable we have declared similarly for the account number also we can do that public void set account number or set account we need a uh, account number which will be provided while calling the method and since the account number is of long type we need to provide a long type only uh, or lesser we will learn it we will learn it while i mean uh, i have explained you these these things that uh, multicasting concept this, this works on the multicasting concept so now we need to assign the account number which is coming from the method or user to the account number we have declared so this can be done by assigning so guys what i am doing is actually first uh, before that we were making and now we will set this pin which is coming from the user method to the pin number so this is a perfect example of encapsulation so now we can get as well as set the value ourselves according to our requirement this is the example of a perfect bean i showed you how to make our data members read only by providing the getter methods only you can even make it write only by providing the uh, the setter method if you remove all the getter method the data members will be write only you can do it yourself and now i am showing you the perfect example of the encapsulation which is by making all the data members private and all the methods getter and setter methods public so now we haven't initialized our data members since the setter method are here we will initialize it at the runtime so the object has been created and now i'll need the setter method set name for name it is the set name and set name as you can see that set name is taking an string for setting the value name so what i we need to do is we have already discussed this thing we need to pass an in uh, a string here that is name now we have already set the name now we need to set we need to set the Mm, account and the method is set account and we need to pass a long account number and we will pass it one two three four five six seven or anything and now the next one is set pin this is the method sorry actually this is the method and now we will pass a four digit integer one two three four suppose now we have set all the values for the data members because three set methods are there for name account and for pin so we have set all the values now we need to get them so by calling the getter methods we can easily access them or directly print them or hold in some value i have explained you how to hold the value in previous program you can directly print it or hold in a value and then print that value uh, print that variable so now call the first let me copy this and now call the 
getter of name get name getter of account get account getter of pin get pin so guys this is the example where we first run it and then i'll explain you again we need to compile since we have made some changes and since the program okay oh my god we did a blunder where did we oh the pin should be integer now we made it string we made it wrong and is there no anything fine now get pin yeah still getting one error set pin b dot set pin uh, b dot set pin is actually in capital okay so I think we have resolved our problems and now we will run it okay and if we run the program we will get first you have set it set those values yourself that is Sandeep and your account number one two three four five six and oh, pin number one two three four and then you got your you got your uh, i mean you have accessed those uh, getter methods and you have printed these values so this is how encapsulation works you are actually binding your data you are actually binding you these data members to your methods so that no one can access these data members uh, directly only they can access them through your public getter and setter methods so this is how we achieve encapsulation so guys if you have any query if you have any problem please let me know i explained you i explained you how to make our data data members read only that is by only providing the getter methods if you remove the set setter methods there will be no any option for the user or the other classes to write those data because they can only write those data through the setter methods and they can only get those data by getter methods so to make our beam or data members get only uh, i mean read only we need to define only getter methods if you want to make them uh, read only uh, sorry write only we need to define only setter methods and if you want to make a perfect bean so that other classes would set their values as well as get their values we need to encapsulate them uh, by making our data members private and by making our getter and setter beans um, getter and setter methods public so this is how we can achieve encapsulation in java and i have explained to you all those things so I think this is fine but if you still have any confusion or any problem please let us know by commenting in the comment section below if you like the video like and share with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please guys subscribe and hit the bell button so that you can never miss any video from our channel so guys stay tuned we will be uh, we'll be discussing about the this keyword uh, in next tutorial because um, this keyword uh, shall uh, be discussed in the next tutorial only because I think that th this keyword has a huge role in Java and it will be used in the concept of OOPS 
in coming tutorials so before that before going on to polymorphism i shall be discussing the this keyword and uses of this keyword and we will discuss about the data hiding also so thank you guys thank you for staying with us so long thank you so much stay tuned